So today we're going to look at how to run Windows 7 as safely as you can using Office applications as of October 2024. This is the third video in my series and possibly the final, but if you've got any suggestions for any more videos on Windows 7, then please let me know in the comments down below and I'll consider doing them. Now, first things first, I should say that really nobody should should really be using Windows 7 as of October 2024 because unfortunately Microsoft dropped support for Windows 7 back in January 2020 and they've no longer been providing security updates for it meaning there are lots of vulnerabilities in the system means meaning there's lots of ways that hackers can get into Windows 7. But as I've said in my previous videos, if you've got no other choice and you still do need to carry on using Windows 7, this is going to show you the safest way you can use it possible. Have a look at my other videos that I've done in the past. There should be a link to them in the description down below and hopefully a link to them on screen now. Now, first things first, what I would suggest is just make sure that your Windows 7 is as up to date as it can be. So click on the start button, click on control panel. And then if you've got this type of control panel window come up, and if you've got this type of control panel window come up, just click on up there where it says category and click on large icons and then click on Windows Update just down there and then click on check for updates just in the top left hand corner of this window and let it check for updates. It might take some time, so just be patient with it. Now, if once it's checked for updates, it finds any, then I would say install them, restart the computer and then come back to the control panel and go back to Windows Update and click check for updates again and keep checking for updates until you get a message saying that there are no more updates available. So once you've got to this stage, it might be worth clicking check for updates one more time and just seeing if there are any more updates. But if you keep coming back to this no important updates available, then click on the cross just up there. Don't worry about the optional updates. It's the important ones. That's what we're looking for. So once we've got there, click on the cross just up there and close this window down. And then you want to open your browser. Now, what I would suggest is if you haven't seen my video before this, one, then you want to download Firefox, ESR and Super Mium. So open up Super Mium and then when it's opened, what you want to do is you want to type in the address bar right at the top of the screen, CWTEK co.uk forward slash wd all in lowercase and no spaces just as it's shown on the screen there pause this video if you need to note this down once you've done that press enter or return on your keyboard and then once you get to this stage here just scroll down the screen there and what you're looking for is windows 7 essentials and here you've got office package now that if you're running microsoft office 360 or Microsoft Office 2016, that you should still be receiving updates for that until I believe 2026 at some point. So you might be all right if you've already got Microsoft Office 2016 or Microsoft Office 365 or Microsoft 365 as they call it now. But if you've got an earlier version of Office, then I would recommend it might be worth installing LibreOffice, which is fully compatible with Microsoft Office. Even if you've got an earlier version of Office, such as Office 2000, 2003, 2007, 2010 or 2013, then still download LibreOffice. So click on where it's got LibreOffice there. And then when you get to this screen here, just click on the black and yellow download. That's a left click. It should automatically start downloading. If it doesn't, just click on that there, but give it a few seconds. And as I can see in the top right hand corner, I've got that arrow pointing downwards and the circle is filling up. I'm just waiting for the circle to completely fill up and then that will mean it's downloaded. And once that blue circle with the arrow disappears, then it should be fully downloaded. There you go. So once you see that, just move your mouse over LibreOffice just up there, left click once, and then you might see, do you want to run this file? If you do, left click run, then left click next, left click next, 
left click install. Now this bit might take a bit of time, just be patient with it. I'll pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's installed. Now you might see this come up saying, do you want to allow the following program to install software on this computer? Left click on yes. And this bit might now take a bit of time, so just leave it. I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's nearly installed. It says installation wizard completed. So that tells us it's now installed. So click on finish. And then what we can do is we can actually close down Super Miam. So click on the cross in the top right hand corner. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna delete the installation for LibreOffice. So click on any yellow folder and then click on downloads, which is just below favorites. Now, if you see favorites, but you don't see anything below it, then just click on the little arrow beside the star and that should make downloads appear. So left click on downloads, find LibreOffice in there, just right click on it and then left click delete and then left click yes. And then go to your recycle bin on the desktop, click on the right mouse button and then left click in empty recycle bin and yes again. And that will completely delete the installation file from your computer, close down downloads. The installation file is no longer needed simply because we've already installed it. If we need to install it again, we can just download the latest version from that website again. So we wanna open up LibreOffice. So look for this icon on your desktop. And once it's opened, let's just double click on Writer. And I'm gonna open the screen out a bit just by clicking on this box just up here in the top right hand corner to maximize it. I'm gonna click on Tools and then I'm gonna click on Options. If you don't see that, you can hold down the Alt key and then tap the F12 key and then let go of the Alt key. And what we wanna do is we wanna set this so that it saves files as Office type files like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So click on the little plus beside load stroke save, click on general. And here we've got here document type, text documents writer. We wanna click on the drop down just beside ODF text document. And we wanna select in there Word 2010 to 365 document star dot doc X. Click on apply then click on the little drop down arrow next to document type, select spreadsheets calc, and then click on the little arrow below just next to ODF spreadsheet. And then what we wanna do is we wanna select Excel 2007-365 star dot XLSX. Click on that, click on apply, and then click on the arrow to the right of spreadsheets calc, and click on presentations impress and then click on the little arrow just beside ODF presentation star dot ODP. And we wanna select on there PowerPoint 2007 to 365 star dot PPTX and then click on apply and then click okay. Now this means when we go to save something, if whether it be in Writer, which is the equivalent of Word, Calc, which is the equivalent of Excel or Impress, which is the equivalent of PowerPoint, it will save in Word, Excel and PowerPoint. PowerPoint file format. So if I go to save as there, as you'll see, there you go, it's gonna save as a Word 2010 to 365 document, meaning that it will be compatible with anybody who's running Word or running Excel or running PowerPoint on their system. And likewise, LibreOffice will also read Word, Excel and PowerPoint documents if you're receiving documents or spreadsheets or PowerPoint presentations from people running Word, Excel or PowerPoint. Okay, so the next thing is what if you want to read PDF files. Now, if you've got Firefox or Super Miam installed, then hopefully they should read PDF files for you. So there's no need to install any third party software. But if you want a more professional software, then it seems to be that Adobe are still producing their versions of Adobe PDF as of Adobe PDF Reader as of October 2024 that will work with Windows 7. So just go into Super Miam and once Super Miam is loaded up, go to the address bar at the top of the screen and type in there again, cwtek.co.uk forward slash WD, all in lowercase, no spaces, press enter or return once you've typed that in and then go to this page here, scroll down and then what you wanna do is find Windows 7 Essentials and click on Adobe Reader under that. And if any adverts come up, just close them down. And then when you get to this page here, 
it says select an operating system. So click on the drop down, select Windows 7, select a language, select your language and then select a version. Well, there's only one version to select, hopefully. So just select that and then scroll down further and click on download Acrobat Reader. Now, this might take a bit of time to download. I'm just waiting for this circle to fill up just in the top right hand corner there. As we can see, the circle has nearly filled up and there you go, it's appeared. So just click on that Adobe icon just there that's just appeared. And then if this appears, click on yes and it will now start to install. Once this appears, just click on install. Now the install may take a bit of time. Adobe does tend to be quite a large program, so just let it install, just walk away from it if you can. I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's installed. And there you go, it says setup completed. So once you see that, click on finish. And then what we want to do is we just want to close down the Supermium browser, click on the cross in the top right hand corner. And then we just want to go to any yellow folder, go to downloads, and then we just want to delete this file. It's quite a big file. So right click on that, left click delete, left click yes, go to your recycle bin, right click on it, left click empty recycle bin, left click yes. There you go, that's gone. And then what we want to do is just want to go into Acrobat Reader. So double click on its icon from the desktop. And here we just want to accept the terms of the agreement. And then after a little while, you might get this come up, take the tour. So click on take the tour and then just keep clicking next on this tour. You can read it if you want until you get to finish just there and then OK. You don't have to sign in if you haven't got a Adobe subscription. That's fine. And let's just close it down. And I'm just going to go back into a folder where I've got a PDF file. So I'm just going to go into documents. I've got one there. Just double click on it and let's just see if Adobe opens. Yes, it does. So lastly, what if we want to zip up files? Then we can open them in uh, Windows 7. We don't need anything to open them, but if we want to create a zip file, then it's a good idea to install a piece of software to do that. Now we can do that in Windows 11 without any software, but how do you do it in Windows 10? So let's just go back to Supermium just there. Double click on that, open it up. Once it's open, go to the address bar at the top of the screen, click in there and just type CW tek.co.uk forward slash WD, all in lowercase, no spaces, then press enter or return, then scroll down to Windows 7 Essentials and click on Zip Manager or click on 7-Zip. Then you should see this here. Click on the top download. If that doesn't work, then click on the next one down. So click on that and then let it install, as you can see by that circle with the arrow. Once something appears up there, then uh, we're ready to go. There we go. So 7Z has appeared up there. So click on the 7Zip icon just there. Click on yes if this comes up. Click on install, then click on close. Now we, we can just close down Supermium and then just go back to our downloads folder. So if we've got no folders open, click on a yellow folder, click on downloads and right click on the 7Zip icon just there and then left click delete and then left click yes, right click on the recycle bin, left click empty recycle bin and then click yes. Now let's just see, I've got something in documents here, I've got backup with Eases to do free, so I just right click on that, go to 7-zip, here we've got an option here, add to and that'll be the file name .zip, so left click on that and there you go, that's just zipped that file up. And as you can see here, it's made it slightly smaller which might make it easier to email. We can even zip up folders so you can do the same thing just right click on the folder and uh, and then just go to 7-zip and then add to and that'll be the name of the folder dot zip just as easy as that. So there you go those are my guides to how to use Windows 7 as safe as you can as of October 2024. If you've got any other ideas you want me to see you want me to do a video on a certain thing in Windows 7, then please let me know in the comments down below. And if I can do it, 
I will do. I hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things including my Amazon shop which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.